Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Love Shack Fancy and Love Shack Fancy for Target haul and just comparing the two lines and giving my opinion on the line for Target. Um, I've watched a lot of these hauls and I feel like people are being really hard on the Target line, but I'm going to compare the two and then give you guys my opinion. If you're looking for Love Shack Fancy for Target, you need to go in the store. Don't look on the website. Everything's sold out on the website, but I did find stuff today and yesterday. Um, I went to two different Targets and they, the inventory on the website isn't accurate. So you might get lucky and go in the store and see something that you really like. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and let's get on with the haul. This first dress is from Love Shack Fancy. It retails for $2.95. It's just like a yellow and purple floral. I'm wearing a size six and I would say it's true to size, but if you were a D or up in cup size, I would size up one. I'm a 34D and it is pulling right in the middle there. Um, there's lots of special details to this dress. I think they really did a great job on it. There's lace trim in the sleeves and then the edge is ruffled there's lace all through the middle and then from here down it's double lined so you won't see through you won't have to wear a slip and there's pockets the buttons are like a yellow plastic heart and then right in here there's snaps so just like extra details that love chef fancy always does and there's like a double rick rack trim on the end so this is just like pretty to throw on in the summer and the spring, run your errands, you can dress it up with heels and go to like a party or go to an event, like school drop off, pick up, just do all of that and this is so comfortable. You can wear it open with like a white bikini underneath and wear it as a cover up. It's just very, very versatile and soft and comfortable and really special. I think that's why Love Shack Fancy is so popular because their dresses are really special even though they are a little bit of a higher price point. Next dress is a Love Shack Fancy for Target. I'm wearing a size 4 and I would say it's true to size. It's a little tight on me. I'm normally a 6 if you've watched my videos. Um, I think they did such an amazing job on this. They have the crochet detailing on the sleeve, fabric covered buttons, um, not a lot of detailing from here up which they usually do a little something. They didn't do anything for that. But from here down, it is double lined and the lining they put in here is extra flowy. It gives it like a nice, really full, pretty skirt. I think it's super feminine. Um, the, it, it's also missing pockets. I feel like Love Shack Fancy does pockets in their, these style of dresses. And I think that would have been perfect. It would have just been like that extra detail. And I'm a little bummed out that this is too tight on me. But it's, I think they did such a great job on this. Okay, so this is a Love Shack Fancy dress. It retails for $3.75. It comes in a blue and a white. And this is the tie-dye. It's very, very subtle. When I saw it online, I thought it was going to be a lot brighter. But it is very light. There's some yellow, pink, and blues in there. Um, I love the detailing on this. It's just like really a lot of embroidery on the shoulders and then like a really accentuated puffy sleeve and then a lot of embroidery through the front and then you have your lace trim in the top. I am wearing my normal size medium and I would say it's true to size but it is bigger on the top portion i think they wanted it to be a little more low cut or like that victorian look and then the waist has some elastic in there to give you a lot more of like a puffy look so just like a cupcake kind of skirt and there is pockets which i love it comes up 
like high on the sides and goes low in the front and the back. So you do have some extra coverage, but it is really, really super short. I think this is something that I probably would only wear to maybe Magic Kingdom or like some, or Halloween because it is very dramatic. The sleeves are really, really puffy. It has like a lot of like, extra details but like in like a young girly way so i would say this dress is probably for someone under 30 if you're wearing it like to like an event or somewhere that um you know isn't like disney or themed or anything like that i love the pockets uh, it's very very comfortable soft cotton fabric so just really well made and i love all the extra little details but like i said it is really short it is very whimsical and fun, but for me, it's not something that I would wear every day. When I looked on Rent the Runway, like one of the reviews had somebody like walking their dog in it, and I thought it was going to be like that kind of more casual dress. But this is definitely something that I think if I walked my dog in my neighborhood, people would look at me like I was nuts. And then I have it paired with the strappy heels from Mix 6. I think it kind of makes it a little bit more May. But I think it is super fun and it's really cute. Next dress is a Love Shack Fancy for Target. I'm wearing my size medium. And I would say it's true to size. If anything, it runs a little big. So if you want it tighter in the top area, I would size down in it. But it's really, really pretty. I think this is the quintessential Love Shack Fancy dress. It is $55, and I think they hit like all the Love Shack Fancy points with this one. So it has like a bunch of different floral prints on each tier. There's the pink, the teal, pink, and then white on each layer. And then um, they have the crochet detailing in it and pockets, which I love. I love the dresses with pockets, especially like this one, like where you're just gonna throw it on in the summer. You can put it on in the morning, run all your errands, cook and cleaning, and do it all on this. It's very easy, breezy, and comfortable. I think, like I said, with the last Target dress, the only difference I feel like in the two lines is they're both 100% cotton, but this one and the other Target one, the fabric is thicker. So I guess it's like the thread count and sheets where it's not as soft and um, it is a little more stiff, but who knows, the dresses that I have from Love Shack Fancy or have been worn before and these are all new. So maybe if they were washed, they would be a little softer. I don't know how they're gonna wash and dry, but I really, really love this. I don't mind the thicker fabric. I just think it's so pretty and comfortable and it reminds me of like my grandma when I was little you know, like those house coats, but it's just like more pretty and feminine and modern. <laughs> this next dress is a Love Shack Fancy dress. It retails for about $300. I'm wearing a size medium, and I would say it's true to size, but if you're bigger in the bust and the arm area size up, so it is a little tight on the arm, and then I think if you're a D and up, you should size up. And it's still slim through like the waist and down, and there's not a whole lot of fabric. The fabric is pretty thin, so I don't think you're gonna get like a bulky look with the large. Uh, this dress is a favorite on Rent the Runway. It's really hard for me to get it, but I do wanna try to get it in the large just because I really like this. It's really soft, really comfortable. Lots of little pretty details on it. Um, just like some stitching, like stitch detailing on the top. And then on the sleeve, there's some gathering and then crocheted lace through the arms. And then from here to the first layer of the crocheted lace is lined. And then down, it's just unlined. So you have that crocheted lace so you can... You know, you don't, you see, actually see your skin there. It's really pretty to wear, like, button. You can button it all the way up and just have it, like, really conservative and pretty. Or you can just have it open and then open at the bottom like I'm wearing it. So just really flowy and pretty for summer. And I think this is another one of those dresses. You can wear it, like, to run your errands and, you know, walk the dog 
or you can wear it to like a little barbecue or an outdoor event because you have that really easy, breezy, soft fabric. So it makes it really lightweight and perfect for the heat. But it's just really, really pretty and um, feminine. The pink is like washed down in certain places. So you have that kind of tie dye effect that's really in right now. I really, really like this dress and I know I'm gonna run this one off. And then the last dress I have is from Love Shack Fancy for Target. It was $55. I'm wearing my normal size six. And I would say it's true to size. It fits pretty much like any other size six. Um, this is 100% polyester, so a little bit different than the other dresses. And I think it's more for a, an event. So you, it's not like an everyday dress like Love Shack Fancy's cotton dresses. It's more of like their, um, you know, formal dresses. Kind of reminds me of an 80s prom, but it's really pretty. It has a little like puffy sleeve with elastic. And then there's a bow here. It is very low cut, so if you don't like to show any cleavage or your chest, then I would skip this one. But there's a tear here, and it's just like a nice flowy skirt. It's not a full maxi, but it is a longer dress, and there's a lining through the whole thing. So it's really well made. It's pretty, um, not that great for outside because it is that polyester, so you're gonna be really hot in this. But it's pretty for an indoor event, for Easter, for next year, for church, bridal baby shower, um, you know, birthday party. It's gonna be indoors just really pretty and special i think overall love shack fancy did a pretty good job for the line for target i did see a couple misses on the racks i didn't really go for them i think there's some that were just a little too like i can't think of a nice word for tacky but they're just like not really well done and, I, and you'll see if you go and look that the dresses that there's a majority left are the ones that probably weren't everybody's cup of tea Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe.